in this Adobe Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a colorful background covered with water drops. Let's get started. Create a blank document and set the artboard dimensions to 800 by 555 px. Click Create button. Now grab the rectangle tool M and make a rectangle that is the same size as your artboard. Activate the gradient panel and fill the selected object with radial gradients as shown. Dark, blue R equals 0, G equals 71, B equals 161. Medium, blue R equals 0, G equals 89, B equals 193 and light. Blue R equals 0, G equals 133, B equals 199, below turquoise R equals 0, G equals 252, B equals 255. Let's create a water drop now. Pick the pen tool P from the tools panel and draw a basic water drop shape. First, make sure the shape is still selected. Then, select the mesh tool. I have created three vertical and three horizontal mesh lines. You can add as many mesh lines as you want. Select the mesh points and pick the light color more than water drop background color. Different types of light color is need to be applied within the different mesh points and this color should be applied in a way that water drop look like more realistics. We are going to create a shadow for our water drop. First, we need a copy of the object we have just created and then apply some gradients to it. In the gradients panel, Select the RGB color is same as the instruction. Blue R equals 0, G equals 140, B equals 203. Below turquoise R equals 0, G equals 179, B equals 213. Grab the pencil tool and, and draw two different sized irregular shapes and place them over the upper part of our main object. Those will be the highlights of the water drop. Open up the gradient panel and apply the linear gradients. Here, I have select gradient color is as like the image. Same way, you can create irregular shapes over the main object, such a way that water drop look like more realistics, and apply the same gradient color like as the previous shape. Select all objects created so far and group them Ctrl plus G. Keep the objects still selected and in the symbols panel Click on the New Symbol button. When the Symbol options appear, and confirm with OK. Using the techniques we described earlier, create another water drop symbols to make the entire illustration more appealing. The drops should be different in sizz and shapes. Same way, save water drop object symbol in the symbols panel. Using the techniques we described earlier, create several more water drop symbols to make the entire illustration more appealing. The drops should be different in sizz and shapes. In this illustration, I created five of them. Choose graphic as the type and give each symbol a name followed by a number in sequence, for example, water drop number 2, water drop number 3 etc. 
as we did, for our first symbol. And, save, all of the water drop, object symbol, in the, symbols panel. Now, arrange the background color, as radial gradient, in a way, that is more realistic, to place the water drop. You can try, different gradient options, to complete, the background color. You can place, the water drop, in the random position, on the background. You can manipulate, the water drop object, in a different size, and, position. To further, randomize the symbols, you can, change the orientation, of individual instances, in the symbol set. Select the, symbol spinner tool, and, click, and, drag from side to side, to spin the symbols around, be careful, not to overdo things. You can duplicate individual symbol instances, and, resize them, as a group. It's up to you, how detailed, you want your, background to be. Create, as many copies, of the symbol instances, as you like, then, rearrange them, to look random, and, natural. Once done, you should, end up, with something similar, to our work. Congratulations, you have done, to create, water drop effect. Now, you can save, this illustrator file, as a, image format. That's it. I hope, you've enjoyed, this tutorial.